Howdy folks, it's uh, Jeff Camarda. Good late afternoon to you. The clock's about to tick to 5 o'clock on Monday, uh, January 10th. And, and once again, happy, prosperous, and healthy New Year to all of you. Just want to give you a, a quick market update. There's a lot of um, tumult going on in the markets. Uh, and the, 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 the big picture is... As we've been, I've been predicting for over a year now, you know, there are a lot of forces that are driving inflation. Uh, and uh, when inflation goes up, the primary tool that central banks like the Federal Reserve have is to raise interest rates, raise interest rates. And they really didn't see this coming. They should have listened to me, but they didn't. And they're way behind the curve now. So they've, they've uh, telegraphed to the markets. Um, that uh, they're serious about controlling inflation, will raise interest rates, I'll stop buying bonds, which is another way to support uh, low interest rates. And, uh, and again, I don't, I don't know why the market is also so far behind the curve. This has been pretty obvious to me. But the, the gut punch that we've seen in the market, particularly with tech stocks, over the, uh, the past week or so has been a gradual realization that, gee whiz, uh, all is not wonderful with the world, particularly the financial and economic worlds, uh, and strong medicine in terms of reducing stimulus, monetary stimulus, that's, you know, cheap money, uh, um, uh, is, got, is called for. Uh, and so there's a, just a really o an overhang effect here. I don't think this is the beginning of the big one. I still personally feel the markets are significantly overvalued. Um, and the sooner or later, we'll have a very, very uh, um, the painful reckoning uh, for those that don't have some sort of portfolio protection regimen in place, uh, like uh, we um, uh, um, uh, we practice or, or try to practice for our clients and our investors. Uh, but uh, we are having some bumps here. So here's a little bit more um, detail on that. What is driving the markets? You know, there are four uh, forces that 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 are widely regarded um, as having a big influence on market prices: inflation. Uh, earnings, the quality of earnings, or companies making money, interest rates, and, and money flowing from one sector to another. So again, inflation is trending up quickly. We're at like 40-year highs, and I think it's really just the tip of the iceberg. Hit the highest year of year number, as mentioned, in more than 40 years. Um, and uh, as I've been talking about for a long time, this eventually is going to be a, a hugely negative factor uh, for the market and, and something that, uh, um, that we, we continue to monitor very carefully. I don't think this inflation is transitory at all. That's obvious to most of you, even though it's uh, maybe just becoming obvious to the big brains at the Fed. Uh, earnings still for many companies are, were very good in, in 2021. Not all companies, obviously airlines, you know, things that were COVID impacted. But enough companies, particularly tech companies, did well enough, uh, which, which gave uh, large uh, cap, mega cap stocks a very big boost and, and, and put some air under the, their wings. And this is, again, in many ways attributable to, you know, the kind of phase one recovery. I think we're a long way from getting out of COVID woods. Uh, but certainly things were better in 2021 than they were in 2020 when things were total lockdown. So that, that, that effect uh, also fueled by um, the, um, the, the, the stimulus and the easy money that's been circulating around the world really, you know, put, uh, um, the, gave, gave a lot of boost uh, to those stocks. Interest rates, again, have been artificially held down uh, by central uh, banks' uh, practices and bond buying. Uh, but that's going the other way. So we're seeing interest rates go up and bond prices uh, going down, which is really bad news for you bond investors out there. Um, and uh, that, that I think that trend will continue to worsen. And it, we sh probably should recognize that rates are still low, right? They're lower than they've been still in, in my entire adult lifetime. Uh, but but the, the wind of change is in the air um, and the trend is going the, uh, the other way, and eventually this is going to uh, um, uh, result in some pretty, uh, pretty uh, negative uh, um, economic impacts. Um, and especially for stocks that, that, that depend on rapid growth like tech stocks, the bigger the interest rate is, the less attractive those stocks are. Uh, on a long-term basis, and 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 the 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 more that their prices are pummeled because uh, the growth is in after inflation is considered over the long term, uh, is a lot less robust. 
Uh, that's that's probably enough for now, uh, and uh, I could you know continue to blather on here. But the important point is that things are changing, uh, and the market is just really over the past week recognized that kind of a shiver, shiver me timbers as it were. Uh, but the, the the sailing I think it will still be relatively smooth for a while. But sooner or later, things are going to go the other way in our opinion. And we'll batten down the hatches, and I want you to know we have our crew, our ever-expanding crew, out there on the decks, battens in hand, ready to cover it up before the water slips up over the gunnels, uh, as it were, Yahar. Hopefully, uh, that was uh, um, uh, um, the clear enough, and uh, I'm going to, as mentioned, I, you folks seem to enjoy more. When I give you these video reports, so you know going forward, I, I think uh, I'll take that calm for a while. And until uh, next time, uh, ahoy all you investor and wealth mates. Uh, this is Dr. Jeff Camarda signing out for the nonce, and uh, we'll check with you again next week. Thank you so much for listening. Bye bye.